Good morning and welcome to morning prayers for Friday, June 11th. Let's prepare ourselves for prayer. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from God who made heaven and earth. From Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2. Let's be still and aware of the presence of the holy within and all around. In the beginning, O oh God, when the firm earth emerged from the waters of life, you saw that it was good. The fertile ground was moist with seed, the seed was strong, and earth's profusion of color and scent was born. Waken my senses this day to the goodness that still stems from Eden. Waken my senses to the goodness that can still spring forth in me and in all that has life. Amen. And the word today from Frederick Buechner is chanting. Chanting is a form of high church popery, popery that is supposed to set mainline Protestant teeth on edge. It shouldn't. Words wear out after a while, especially religious words. We've said them too many times. We've listened to them so often. They are like voices we know so well, we no longer hear them. When a prayer or a psalm or a passage from the Gospels is chanted, we hear the words again. We hear them in a new way. We remember that they are not only meaning, but music and mystery. The chanting italicizes them. The prose becomes poetry, the prosaic becomes powerful. Of course, chanting wears out after a while too. Chanting. And I'm reading from Psalm 138, a David song. Thank you. Everything in me says thank you. Angels listen as I say my sing my thanks. I kneel in worship facing your holy temple and say it again. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Most holy is your name. Most holy is your word. The moment I called out, you stepped in. You made my life large with strength. When they hear what you have to say, God, all earth's kings will say, thank you. They'll sing of what you've done. How great the glory of God. And here's why. God, high above, sees far below. No matter the distance, he knows everything about us. When I walk into the thick of trouble, keep me alive in the angry turmoil. With one hand, strike my foes. With your other hand, save me. Finish what you started in me, God. Your love is eternal. Don't quit on me now. Psalm 138. And this is a poem shared by Diana Butler Bath, Bass in her weekly postings. It's called Breathe. 
and it's by David White. How can I breathe at a time like this when the air is full of the smoke of burning tires, burning lives? Just breathe, the wind insisted. Easy for you to say in the weight of injustice is not, if the, if the weight of injustice is not wrapped around your throat, cutting off all air. I need you to breathe. I need you to breathe. Don't tell me to be calm when there are so many reasons to be angry, so much cause for despair. I didn't say to be calm, said the wind. I said to breathe. We're going to need a lot of air to make this hurricane together. And my mistake, it's by Lynn Ungar. Breathe. So let's reflect on our word, our psalm, and our poem. The world is alive with your goodness, O oh God. It grows green from the ground and ripens into the roundness of fruit. Its taste and its touch enliven my body and stir my soul. Generously given, profusely displayed, your graces of goodness pour forth from the earth. As I have received, so free me to give. As I have been granted, so may I give. Let's pray for the coming day and for the life of the world. I have tasted the fruit of the earth, O oh God. I have seen autumn trees hang heavily with heaven's gifts. I have known people pregnant with your spirit of generosity. Let these be guides to me this day. And may Mary, who knew her womb filled with your goodness, teach me the wisdom that is born amidst pain. May I know that deeper than any foulness in me is the seed planted in the womb of my soul. May I know that greater than any barrenness in the world is the harvest to be justly shared. Amen. Good morning, Terry. And speaking of seeds, I planted some. They're supposed to be attracting butterflies and hopefully honeybees in the bee variety and for the next 10 days they need to be watered daily and so um, they've already been watered this morning not by me but by the rain we're experiencing so whatever this weekend brings to you may it be a blessing may you be a blessing to those you encounter and enjoy your